name is Ronola and you're welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this spice. This recipe is going to be very easy. It's going to be like a beginner friendly recipe and I feel like everyone is going to get it right. I just woke up like an hour ago and I thought about making a cooking video. So guys, join me in my kitchen while I make this pie and before I proceed with this video, I would like to apologize in advance because <laughs> there might be some noise background and I know I will try it about that. I'm sorry about that in advance. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'll start by making the filling first and for this I've, I've got some carrots, Irish potatoes, onion and some meat sticks. I'm making a lot of meat pie today and I'm going to link, I'm going to put a, a list of all ingredients and measurements in the description box. So you can check it out. So I'm going to proceed by filling the carrots and the potatoes. I peeled the carrots and potatoes and now I'm just going to chop them into cubes. proceed by adding some olive oil in my pot. I don't use a lot of oil so I'm going to start by adding in the onions and I'll saute them for about three or four minutes. So I'm going to show you a hack for your meat sticks before pouring in the meat sticks just kind of like you know mash the, the beef like this it's easier when you do this I just mash it with a spoon like this to kind of like scatter the meat stick I'm going to go in with the meat stick so I'm going to add in the chopped carrots and potatoes I'm going to add two cubes of Maggi this is beef I'm seasoning with any kind of seasoning of, your, seasoning of your choice. I'm adding some meat herbs. I'm also going to add in some curry powder. You can add anything you want in your meat pack. You can add some white pepper, black pepper, habanero pepper, just what you want. Just for you. I'm also going to add in some salt. I think a teaspoon is fine. Watch them. I'll come out to cook and I'll see you soon. The filling has been cooking for about 20 minutes and it's soft. I'll be making a thickener with all purpose flour and water, about one tablespoon and a half of all purpose flour. ready now. I'm just going to put up the heat and let it cool. We are going to proceed to make the meat pie dough. This is all purpose flour, margarine and this is cold water. And I'll also be using some baking powder. I'll be making it in this large bowl. I'll add all of this flour. I've just added in the baking powder. I'm just going to so it's easier for me to work with. You can use cold butter, you can use room temperature butter, but don't use melted butter. Okay, so we are going to mix everything just until it turns crumbly. You are going to see that in a bit. So as you can see, it's crumbly. This is what we want to achieve. This is going to look like um, grounded melon. If you know a goosey, it's going to, it should give you the consistency of grounded melon. I'm using cold water. 
you don't need uh, a lot of kneading you just need to just try and bring the dough together so I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my work surface and I'll proceed by rolling the dough out bit by bit you just do what you can undo I'm using this cover this is a cover of a bowl you can also use a pot cover so I'm going to press that in just gently but firmly okay so I remove this I cut another one gently but firmly Uh, yeah, no, it's one first teaspoon. First baby. Take two. Oh, so mm. first baby. Mm. Usually, a spoon and half is good, so it's easier for you to close up the pie. If you overfill your meat pie, you find it difficult to close. If I'm using a bigger spoon, I can go with just one spoon of filling. But Mariana said I should take two. No, <laughs> we don't need to. Why what did is I mine? say that? You said take two. Wait, ah, to take two, take two. I'm going to gently oh. lift one side. I'm going to gently lift one side of the pie and cover it with the other side. So to close the pies firmly, I'm using my second finger. I'll just press it like so. You don't use a fork? No, I don't want to use a fork. You don't need to use a fork. If you want, you can use a fork. But I find this very easy and comfortable for me to do. And it works very well. So I'll lift the pie. And put it on my baking tray. Okay. This is very easy. This is what I'm going to do for all the meat pies. As you can see, I didn't use any egg wash in this video because my fingers are doing a great work and they are perfectly sealed. As you can see, they will not open up so you don't have to worry, okay? So I'll be using an egg as an egg wash. So I'm just going to glaze each meat pie with the egg wash and I'll transfer it to the oven. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, the meat pie is ready and we're about to do the taste test. So I'm just going to open one. You see, they're very nice. Okay, Mariana, let's do the taste test. So we are going to do the taste test. <laughs> Just be careful, it's really hot, huh? mm. <laughs> It's good. This meat pie. You need to try, please. <laughs> it's really nice. When we make it, it gets finished the same day. It never gets to the next day, yeah? So thank you so much for watching this video. And do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your family, with and your friends, friends, with anybody around you, with your and dogs. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.